what is up guys welcome to the big unbox where we do that small tech and today i am back with another big unboxing for you for the oneplus 5t and today we're back with a tempered glass screen protector this one's going to come from oh my i believe it's called oh my film we'll go with that or omy film whatever how you want to say it let's do it so the screen protector this is the actual presentation i'll throw up the link in the video description if you guys want to check it out so the pricing is a little steep for a third party it's 13.95 um out of 20 reviews, it's gotten three and a half stars. So we'll check it out and see if it's a hit or a miss. I believe this is the one that has like a carbon fiber type edge around it. We did this review for the OnePlus 5 version, and I would say it was kind of like a mini hit. It wasn't exactly perfect, but it did do the trick since there wasn't very many options or good options for the OnePlus 5. So let's go ahead and check this one out. Presentation looks decent enough. This is what you're getting back gives you some details how to do the install we'll try to do the installation on video and then on the front it's going to give you some more details about the touch sensitivity you know bubble free blah 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 let's go and get to the unboxing pop this open see if this is a hit or miss you guys getting excited for the one plus six coming out i'm you know i'm looking forward to it i'm not looking forward i think the price is definitely going to be higher and i'm not really looking forward to that notch not a big fan of the notch at all. I think the Android should just stay away from that. I got the iPhone 10, and I really don't even like it, honestly. So I wish they'd do without the notch, but that's just my personal opinion. But I don't run OnePlus. So let's go and check this out. Got your usual suspects right here. You got your wet wipes. You got your wet wipe and then dry wipe. And then the mandatory suspects right here dust absorbable sticker and then you got your usually guide stickers as well i usually do use the dust sticker to get that extra lint off the actual screen itself let's go and get to the main feature now i wish for that price point they had to give you two of them that would be my first complaint anytime you get you know a third party you like to get a couple of them just to make sure you don't mess it up so this one's gonna feel kind of weird it does have like almost like a rubber type feel around the edges it says carbon fiber on the actual it says carbon fiber edge but you know i don't really see any carbon fiber unless that's actual material now this is more of a plastic around the black edges the tempered glass is probably very thin you can almost feel it very flimsy so it's not gonna be of a thick actual temper glass if there is temper glass right there but again these black edges are definitely going to be like a rubbery feel this is completely different than anything you have probably felt before where it's almost got like a plasticky feel around the edges and then obviously the middle is supposedly temper glass so it does look crystal clear i believe it is full adhesive we'll check that out as well so let's go and get to the we'll try to do this on video got your wet wipes here wipe it down wipe it down it's the first step you always want to make sure you're doing this in front of some direct lighting and i say this every time but it's important because i've done this so many times and i still mess it up anytime you don't do it in front of like some direct light there's a chance you can get some lint or dirt up in there and obviously i don't know about you guys but that drives me insane if i see it after the fact that ocd kicks in and i want to get it out so i usually end up taking that thing off and trying to apply it again and that's usually not a good thing either so with that said, be careful anytime you're spending any type of cash on a product, especially, you know, harder money on stuff like this. It's important you guys take care of it. So let's wipe it down. This is going to be the dry wipe, which is nice. They include this instead of a microfiber cloth. I usually prefer a microfiber cloth because it does a little bit better job in terms of streaks and stuff like that. You can kind of see it's still getting a little streaky. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It's still kind of streaky a little bit, but I'll continue with it. We'll go with what they got. I do have microfiber cloths around, but we'll continue doing this per what they actually gave me. So, pretty decent. And then, finally, what I'll do is take usually one of these stickers. And this is the dust sticker. And from there, just kind of give it a quick wipe down. I should say stick down, not a wipe down. Kind of get all of the rest of the remaining dust particles off the screen itself looks pretty good for the video purposes we're going to go with it obviously you may want to take a little more time than what i did but we're just going to go with it for time purposes so then what i do is kind of get a game plan of how we're going to do the alignment and i usually base it upon the front facing 
camera first. You can kind of see right there, and usually the speaker grill up top will kind of be my main focal point to get the alignment just right. Um, and then you obviously do want to get a game plan how it's going to be. So your sticker here, this is going to be step one. So you're going to take this off first, and then obviously you're going to do the alignment after that. Now you want to kind of be as close to the actual screen as possible. It is full adhesive, I can tell you right off the bat. Obviously you want to be as close as possible, so it negates any chance of getting more dust or any particles getting into the screen if you're quilt, you know, do it kind of quickly. So again, I line it up based upon the front facing camera. And then what I do is use my fingers around the edges. Now this one does feel a lot different than a lot of the other tempered glass one. It kind of just feels more of a plasticky type feel. But that's not the end of the world because the plastic parts around the edges. And then from there, you can see it adhering. You can see it's full adhesive. You can see it almost taking effect right there to all the sides, adhering pretty nicely. And then it, that's where it actually would be nice if they gave you a microfiber cloth for that final wipe down. There we go. So kind of you want to just do the edges. You want to work your way to the edges. Anytime you're doing this, you want to start in the middle to get all those bubbles out first. Work your way around the edges. And then obviously the adhesive on the sides is important as well. So you want to wipe it down. And kind of put some force to it. Obviously you don't want to break the thing, but you want to put a little force to it to make sure you're getting all the bu bubbles out. And this one did appear to be pretty nicely done. So my first impressions of it, you can see it's got, you know, you can see it's got the black lines, but it is very thin, so it's not the end of the world. Um, I do see a little bit of the bubbles come up on the sides. Let me try to get that out. And that may be just because I'm, you know, did it pretty quickly, but not too bad. But it is crystal clear. It's got a nice feel to it. It's got a natural feel to it, which is really nice. Now the edges do kind of feel a little bit weird because of that plastic. So keep that in mind. It doesn't really affect my grip or anything like that. But again, this is a plastic rubber edge to it and it's not tempered glass. So don't expect it to be tempered glass all the way around the edges. Now obviously that doesn't make a difference because it's really just covering up those black lines on the side anyways. I know you guys probably prefer that crystal clear look all the way through, me too, but what can you do? Let's check it out with a couple cases. Just want to do a couple real quick here. This one's the uh, Rinky Fusion. I use this one quite a bit as my promo demonstration, I should say. I really like this case. Crystal clear. Now you can see right off the bat, guys, it popped up. See that? That's a no-go. Now you put, see what I'm saying? It got a little force around the edges and now it's popping up. Now this one is going back into place. Let's try it again. Give it the benefit of the doubt. Now obviously it just may be one of those things that just hadn't completely adhered yet. But that's a negative simply for the fact that this one's a, you know, it's a basic case that's got some minimal to decent lip. But if it's not going to work on this case, it's probably not going to work on a lot of the cases. Let's check that out one more time. And it's the same thing. You can see it popping up on the right hand edge right off the bat. So that's a definitely no go. Let me see if I can find another couple cases around. I wasn't prepared, I apologize. Let's see if it works with one of the official ones. Got the silicone case and hopefully you would think it would work with the official ones just because of the way they're actually made. And yeah, it does, no issues at all you can see so it actually does work perfectly fine and you can see what kind of protection you're getting it is full edge to edge which is very nice so it's, you can barely see it even kind of just even the black lines with the plastic it just kind of falls into place now i would say it has kind of a weird feel like right here so if you do have this bottom part exposed it's kind of got like a a sharpness to it just because the way this one the rubber part the plastic part you know feels it doesn't have that natural feel as a glass like this one does like the middle part feels like natural glass but this one kind of does have a cheap feel to it when you're kind of maybe swiping up so with that said is this a hit or miss i'd say it depends on what you're needing um i would say it's probably a miss for that price point just because of the fact that it didn't work right off the bat with the rinky you're only getting one now on the upside though you're getting full adhesive that is nice. It's a different type of material, so I'm not sure exactly how it's going to last. But it does, it could, 
it could come across as cheap to some people, so I would say this one's probably going to be a miss. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time.